Hello, welcome back. Uh, for this video, we are moving to uh, Pizza O Tutorial, so Chapter 5, Data Type of Property. Within this chapter, we have uh, two parts. Uh, today, we do the defining a data or data type of property. And uh, later on, there's uh, several uh, exercises talking about uh, Prodigy user interface customization. Uh, before we move to the exercise, uh, I put uh, this uh, comparison uh, in this page for your reference. Uh, just uh, uh, like the concept uh, for all, the object property is similar to the association in UML, UML uh, and relation in the, uh, the entity relation modeling. And the data type property is similar to attributes uh, on both UML and the ER model. Uh, so please uh, bear in mind when you uh, can read through this uh, detailed paragraph uh, as the background. Uh, to define the data property, uh, we will first uh, create our has uh, caloric content uh, as a data type property. Uh, and that is uh, uh, will be used to state the calorie content of particular pizza and then uh, create some sample uh, pizza individual. So it's not a class, but the individual or instance is a specific calorie content. And then create a two pizza, uh, broadly uh, categorized pizza, is low or high calorie. On this uh, exercise 27, uh, we just uh, we first finished this, uh, uh, the data type of property creation. Uh, then, so first, is uh, open uh, the data property tab is uh, here. So that is the, in the uh, property is uh, in the color is uh, green, and the object is uh, property is blue, class is uh, yellow. Uh, so you can uh, distinguish them from this color uh, in the tab. Uh, select the, all the top data property and click the sub add the sub property. And key is uh, has caloric content. Then we have uh, one data property. Uh, we need to define the domain and the range. So domain is uh, uh, the easy. Its domain is just uh, the pizza. So we're using the hierarchy to click pizza. Uh, the range is uh, different because it's a data type of property. It's uh, not like uh, the object property. Uh, there, there's no class uh, hierarchy in the selection, but our built-in data type, we use this uh, integer. If you read through the comments here, you can see there's uh, some historical uh, type uh, still in this uh, big list. Uh, so like this INT, but we we will not use them. Uh, if you see the uh, them, is uh, uh, you can choose uh, from different uh, data type, but we use uh, integer for this one. Uh, and you see here is uh, come to this uh, data type uh, the part because you select uh, the data data type. So you need to click back. Then you can see here uh, we have the range XSD integer. That is uh, finished uh, uh, this uh, step five. Uh, and uh, step six, uh, we need to change, uh, uh, ensure this is a functional pro uh, property uh, because uh, the reason is uh, pizza can only have one content uh, of this uh, numeric uh, the figure uh, and the data type of property often is a functional property. So uh, let's uh, save and uh, run reasoner. Then you can see here the has uh, uh, currently content is uh, finished like this way. So it's a similar or same to this uh, screen. So that's the finish for this uh, exercise uh, 27. Uh, next, uh, uh, the uh, exercise we move to the 5.2. Thank you for watching.